Dear friends, it's summertime at Cobweb Cottage, and this is the time of year where the cottage truly lives up to its name when we live alongside the spiders that keep watch from their cobweb corners that so kindly catches the dust that the summer winds blow in. There's a magic in the air at summer solstice, the longest day of the year, and we cherish these extra golden hours knowing that the days are growing darker again. When we hear a distant rumble in the sky, we know it's time to head in to our decorated indoor forest. It doesn't have the mosquitoes though. And just let the storm pass by candlelight in our cottage of contentment. Since both our home countries have their national days in the summertime, we like to represent that by blending vintage Americana and traditional Swedish folk style. Red, yellow, orange, green, and blue tones coming together to connect with where we come from. We like to use thrifted, vintage, and sentimental items from our childhood and our wedding decorations to celebrate our heritages as a couple. A midsummer tradition for us is to bake a tupkaka, which is a Swedish cake with the most whimsical name. It translates to rooster cake. However, it does not have anything to do with the bird. It is said that there once was an island called Tuppen, which means the rooster in English. And as the wives saw their fishermen husbands returning from the shore, they quickly mixed this quick cake together. The sea salted fishman would enjoy this sweet and delightful treat after their long night out on the ocean. And I must say, together with a cup of coffee or tea, it sounds exactly like the right kind of treat. You can use any kind of fruit, but strawberries for us is the taste of midsummer. And we guarantee that the cake tastes extra good if enjoyed outdoors.
We want to wish you all a very charming summertime, and we'd better get on to bunting the cottage before the 4th of July. Bye for now!